We are moving on to the next topic, which is talking about the subtle angle and the mediastinum. What is mediastinum? Mediastinum is actually the middle septum. Middle septum means where is the middle septum? Which is separating the right lung and the left lung. So, between right lung and left lung, you have uh, some median septum, mediastinum. Yes. And uh, in that mediastinum, you will keep the heart and the blood vessels. So, heart and blood vessels in the middle septum, mediastinum. Yes. What else there? In the media stenum, there are a lot of things, but this is just the idea that between right lung and left lung, you have a middle septum, and in that, that is called media stenum, where you keep the heart. What else do I keep there? Let us see. This question is asking arch of aorta beginning, and you say arch of aorta beginning or ending is same level, and what is uh, that same level given in Gray's anatomy? Gray's anatomy says arch of aorta beginning, ending is same, and it is T4 vertebra. Now, if you say T4 vertebra is the answer, fine, I'll remember that, but show me the diagram. And to discuss the diagram, you have this diagram now, you are putting a disc between T4-5 vertebra. You look at the disc between T4-5 vertebra, put a straight line anterior to touch the bone sternum at the manubrio sternal junction. Second rib will attach here, in fact, second Costal cartilage will attach here and this is called a sternal plane. So, where do you put the sternal plane? It is uh, disc between T45 vertebra and touching the sternum at manubrial sternal junction, which is also attachment of second rib or costal cartilage number two. If you say there is a sternal plane, fine. I think the sternal plane is separating the superior mediastinum from inferior mediastinum. Yes, that's correct. It is separating superior mediastinum from inferior mediastinum. And then you will see inferior mediastinum itself has three divisions. Tell me about the inferior mediastinum three division. Actually, that is where you will tell the heart and the ascending aorta. The heart and the ascending aorta are in the middle mediastinum, part of the inferior mediastinum. So, you are telling the heart and the ascending aorta are content of the middle mediastinum itself is a component of the inferior mediastinum. Yes. What is the space in front of the heart then? The space which is in front of the heart is then called as anterior mediastinum. So, that is anterior mediastinum. Yes. And what is that space which is behind the heart? That space which is behind the heart is uh, of course posterior mediastinum and it is longer than the anterior mediastinum because it is reaching till the T12 vertebral level. It is reaching till the T12 vertebral level and it is quite long. What is inside that? Inside that let us find out but uh, do you know where the ascending aorta is? Yeah, I know ascending aorta is in the middle mediastinum with the heart itself. Yes, ascending aorta is in the middle mediastinum along with the heart. Where is the arch of aorta? Arch of aorta. I think arch of aorta is in the superior mediastinum. Yes, behind the manubrium bone, behind the manubrium bone. So, arch of aorta is behind the manubrium part of the sternum in the superior mediastinum. Where is the descending thoracic aorta? Descending thoracic aorta is going behind the heart, so it is in the posterior mediastinum. And along with the descending thoracic aorta, what do you got? The esophagus. This esophagus is not only present in the posterior mediastinum, it was already present in the superior mediastinum. And when you say the esophagus was in superior mediastinum, it is sandwiched between. There the esophagus was sandwiched between trachea anterior and vertebra posterior. Trachea anterior and vertebra posterior. Sandwiched between the two is esophagus in the superior mediastinum. And uh, what about this uh, other mediastinum? Where is the uh, esophagus passing? Superior mediastinum and posterior mediastinum. One examiner is asking, do you have esophagus in the anterior mediastinum? You say no. There is no esophagus in the anterior mediastinum. Esophagus is actually in the superior mediastinum and also posterior mediastinum. That you remember. Now, now, we are going to draw the diagram. As you are going to draw this diagram, first you have to tell that this is the vertebral level. Which vertebral level? 
You have remembered that it was the disc between T4-5 vertebra. So, disc between T4-5 vertebra, okay. What about that disc between T4-5 vertebra? The internal vertebral disc between T4-5 vertebra, you put a straight line anterior to touch the bone sternum anterior. As you are touching the bone sternum anterior, you will find it is actually having a manubrium part of the sternum and this is the body of sternum. You mean to say sternal... Manubrasternal junction here, where you have attachment of costal cartilage number 2 there. Yes, that is called sternal plane. This is the sternal plane. So, where do I put the sternal plane? You have to put the sternal plane at the disc between T4-5 vertebra. So, intervertebral disc between T4-5 vertebra, that is where I put the sternal plane. Yes, and the sternal plane is going to touch the bone sternum at the manubrial sternal junction. And what is attaching to manubrial sternal junction? Costal cartilage number 2. And what is this bone? This is the manubrium part of the sternum. And that bone, there is a body of the sternum. Remember, this sternal plane is dividing the media sternum into two parts. What are the two parts? There will be a superior media sternum and there will be inferior media sternum. So, the sternal plane is uh, dividing the media sternum into superior media sternum, inferior media sternum. Yes, who is in the superior media sternum then? If you want to know that, then I'll tell you it is the trachea. If you say trachea is in the superior media sternum, then where is it bifurcating into bronchus? It is bifurcating into bronchus here at the sternal plane. So, you are telling that trachea is in the superior media sternum. Yes. And then it is uh, bifurcating the bronchus at the same plane, sternal plane there? Yes. Are you trying to say tracheal bifurcation is at the disc between T4-5? Yes. And what if the disc between T4-5 not given? Then you can answer it as the upper border of the T5 vertebra. And what if the upper border of T5 vertebra not given? Then uh, you have to answer it as the upper border of the T6 vertebra. And what if that is not given? That is also not given. Yeah, then what do you do? Then I'll say lower border of the T4 vertebra, that patient is already dead and it is a cadaver. Oh, it is a cadaver now? Yes, understand. Somebody asking you, where is tracheal bifurcation? The best answer is disc between T4-5. If not found in the option, change your answer to upper border T5. If that is not found, change your answer to upper border T6. Especially this will happen in deep inspiration, which we generally do when we take the chest X-ray. So, you are telling that uh, trachea will be at the upper border of T6 if we have taken deep inspiration while taking chest x-ray, uh, maybe, to keep enough air in the lung. And uh, what if somebody asks me, where is tracheal bifurcation in cadaver? Then you say T4 vertebra, lower border of T4, yeah, maybe, right. Then, what about the angle which is between the manubrium bone and the body of sternum. Actually, there is a sternal angle of Louis. How much? This is sternal angle of Louis and it is uh, the angle between manubrium sternum and the body of sternum. Yeah, what is this angle? How much is that? This sternal angle of Louis is 163 degree. 163 degree. So, it is angle between manubrium bone and body of sternum. Yes. And it is 163 degree. Yes. And it is the sternal angle of the Louis. Yes. That is where the trachea was bifurcating into two bronchus. Yes, that is correct. That is a landmark. And what about the aorta? If you want to discuss aorta, then I will tell you the heart is uh, in the inferior media sternum. Yes, of course, it is in the inferior media sternum, but uh, which part of inferior media sternum? It is in the middle media sternum. Now, if you say the heart was in the inferior media sternum, middle media sternum, what about the aorta? If you want to talk about aorta, then uh, this is the aorta, ascending aorta, and then I have got arch of aorta, and then I have got the descending aorta. So, descending thoracic aorta? Yes, that's the point. Is ascending aorta? Yes.
that is ascending aorta. So you are telling me that the heart is in the inferior meter sternum. Yes. Actually, the heart and ascending aorta both are in the inferior meter sternum and uh, with the exactly in the middle meter sternum. And where is the arch of aorta? Arch of aorta and the trachea both are in the superior meter sternum above the sternal plane. So, arch of aorta and the trachea are both in the superior meter sternum above the sternal plane. Yes. Where is the descending thoracic aorta? Descending thoracic aorta is obviously in the inferior meter sternum, but in the inferior meter sternum also it is exactly in the posterior media sternum. Posterior media sternum. So, descending thoracic aorta, inferior meter sternum, and that also in the posterior meter sternum, along with the esophagus. Yes, along with the esophagus. Esophagus was actually present in the superior meter sternum, then continue in the inferior media sternum also with descending thoracic aorta. Now, one question is asking where the arch of aorta beginning? You say arch of aorta beginning or ending is same level. Yeah, what is that level? That is the sternal plane. What is sternal plane? They are asking which vertebra? Oh, arch of aorta starting, beginning, ending, which vertebra? And then I will say T4 vertebra according to Gray's anatomy. Arch of aorta beginning, ending is T4 vertebra according to Gray's anatomy. Okay, now they are asking where is the arch of aorta beginning? Arch of aorta beginning means now what they are asking? Which costal cartilage? Oh, costal cartilage, then I will tell. Arch of aorta beginning at costal cartilage number 2. Costal cartilage number 2. So, these are some of the questions they are asking and you can tell. Arch of aorta is in the superior medial sternum behind the bone manubrium and beginning ending is same which is T4 vertebra and it is uh, also the same costal cartilage number 2 where it is beginning. Now, with all that information you got here, this is a CT scan at which level? At the T5 vertebra level. So, so this came as a question. You have to identify the structures. T5 means uh, already trachea would have bifurcated. Yes, you see here carina. What is carina? Carina is the cartilage at the bifurcation of the trachea. Remember? Oh, this carina. Yes. You mean to say now you are going to have left principal bronchus there? This is inferior view. Yes, inferior view. The CD scan, MRI are seen from inferior view, usually. So, that is left principal bronchus. This must be the right principal bronchus then? Yes, that will be right principal bronchus. So, now we are telling that this is which vertebra? It is a transverse section at T5 vertebra. And that is where you see this carina or the bifurcation of the trachea into two bronchus. One is the left principal bronchus yes it is left principal bronchus and then you have also shown the right principal bronchus there yes what else you see what i see is that there is this ascending aorta which is anterior and and then there is the descending aorta which is posterior where it is here so you are telling some arch of aorta walls will be there yeah actually understand there is uh, ascending aorta which is anterior and the descending aorta which is posterior. Then uh, what else is there? You will find that there is this question. What is the question? It is asking CD scan at T5 level. The same question, same level? Yes, T CD scan. CD scan at T5 level. So where is the sending aorta? So that kind of questions are coming. You already have found actually that ascending aorta is here anteriorly and descending aorta is there posteriorly. One more vessel you have to focus upon and that vessel is pulmonary trunk dividing into the right and left pulmonary artery. So remember that uh, pulmonary trunk dividing into right and left uh, pulmonary artery is also happening at the same level where you have arch of aorta beginning ending where you have the trachial bifurcation, that is where you have the pulmonary artery giving two branches also. They are almost the same level. You mean to the T5 level. No, not T5 exactly, it is the disc between T45. But if the disc is not given T45, then you can say T5, no problem. 
you find this is one question asking tracheal bifurcation. What do you think is the answer? If somebody asks me tracheal bifurcation, then I will say it is yes. This could mean T for phi. Yeah, but it is not given. I will say T phi. Yes, the upper order of T phi. And what if it is missing in this question? If it is missing, then uh, obviously, then I'll take my answer as T4, which is also the answer in cadaver. So in cadaver, it is C4. Yes. But is this a question on cadaver? No. And what is your answer? My answer should remain T5. So in this question, the answer should remain T5. That is how you practice more and more MCQs. Then you realize that uh, what is the importance of, uh, you know, discussing different type of scenarios because scenario can change and your answer will change accordingly. You cannot learn that without practicing MCQs. So this is the answer here presently. Yes, it is. What is this? This is the front view of the individual showing the costal cartilage number two. And why? Because that is where the arch of aorta beginning ending. If you say that is where the arch of aorta beginning ending, then uh, where is it beginning? Right side, left side. Actually, arch of aorta is coming from right to left side. So, starting costal cartilage number two on the right side, yes. And going to the same level on the left side, yeah, actually. Arch of aorta beginning ending is same level. So, it is beginning on the right side costal cartilage number two and then going towards the left side costal cartilage number two and this uh, is also the sternal plane if you say this is the sternal plane then i think it is going to separate the superior media sternum from the inferior media sternum yes that's what it will do this is the sternal plane which is dividing superior inferior media sternum and you already know the arch of aorta will be in the superior media sternum when you say arch of aorta is in the superior media sternum, I think the trachea is also in the superior media sternum. Yes, trachea is also in the superior media sternum. Then I think the heart is in the inferior media sternum. Yes, the heart is in the inferior media sternum. Along with the ascending aorta, it is in the middle media sternum, part of the inferior media sternum.